Now, our next topic is bio Severs law. So, what is bio Severs law and why we are studying it? Suppose, if there is a current carrying conductor, if this conductor is carrying current I, then you must have studied in class 10, there will be magnetic field lines around this conductor due to current I in the form of concentric circle. If there is magnetic field line around the conductor, so there must be mag strength of magnetic field at these points or at any point P, there must be strength of magnetic field. My question is, what will be the strength of magnetic field at this point? To find the strength of magnetic field, we can use bio Severs law. Let's say a very small element of this conductor that is dn. The distance of point P from this conductor of length dl is r. The angle between this small element dl and r is theta. We already know current I is flowing in this wire. Then according to bio Severs law, according to bio Severs law, the strength of magnetic field we denote it by dB. We denote it by dB. The strength of magnetic field dB at point P is directly proportional to I. Strength of magnetic field dB is directly proportional to length dL. Sorry. Directly proportional to length dL. Strength of magnetic field dB is directly proportional to sin of angle theta sin of angle theta and strength of magnetic field db is directly proportional to 1 by r square 1 by r square this is the distance r is distance now if we are going to combine these four relations so what we are going to get is db is directly proportional to i dl sin theta upon r square or db is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi i dl sin theta upon r square here mu 0 by 4 pi mu 0 by 4 pi is constant and its value is 10 power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere this is what bio severs law